Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into my review for Werewolf by Night. And, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a review of this, but then I quite enjoyed it, and I was like, you know what, I could do the whole video in black and white, which is always fun to do, and it's not something I ever really get to do, so I was like, yeah, let, let's do this. Um, So, yeah, this. I guess let's start with just the idea of this. I quite enjoyed this idea of this special Marvel presentation, um, which of course is what the I believe the Guardians Christmas special will also be, which I guess is going to be next month or at least at the start of December. But uh, anyways, regardless, I sort of like how this also just came out of nowhere, despite us knowing like it was being filmed and all that. I mean, like the announcement was just like a month ago or it was really soon. And then boom, it's just on Disney Plus. I quite like that. And I feel like the same thing. We've known the Guardians special has been the works, but I'd love just for something else like this. I think this is really fun. I enjoy the idea of this little hour adventure that doesn't necessarily move ahead like the Marvel Cinematic Universe in like any meaningful way besides I guess there's monsters and stuff that's existed for however many years but I guess more of just the fact that you know it's just a fun little thing set there and you know these characters are out there somewhere and I feel like that's a fun way to do some like wacky characters even in space or different things like that or you know have something weird set in the savage land or something you know just weird things like that i feel like could work really well for this but uh yeah it, it was fun um the actual plot of it i like the idea of like these monster hunters and everything gathering to inherit this powerful uh i guess item in the marvel cinematic universe at first i was like when is this set could this be an infinity stone but it, it seems very uh at least looking at like the deaths on the tombstones and everything like that i'm not sure how they would have like it, it's red so it would be the ether which would make no sense given its whole thor heritage and then the collector hat so it just wouldn't line up but uh, unless this is from a different universe, but regardless, uh, this was fun. Like I liked seeing Man Thing and that whole sort of reveal of him giving him a hug. Uh, I thought it was very funny, and their dynamic was was very great. And uh, some of the monster hunters and everything, uh, their interactions were, you know, it was just fun. Like it wasn't necessarily too serious. I mean, it was pretty intense. Some of the deaths, like I don't, I'm can't show it i'm sure on youtube but yeah i feel like this was probably some of the most intense deaths that they've ever done for the mcu and i think that you know i'm not really a gore and graphic sort of guy i feel like this excites people because it could show how intense it could do go for characters like blade um or even the punisher and things like that like they, they weren't afraid to show stuff here um you know axes and heads and swords and you know it was pretty crazy uh but yeah i think going forward that's a good indication for that i speaking of blade i really was hoping that he'd pop up or at least in the like a post credit scene which there wasn't one which makes me really sad i don't know why they're so picky about when they include them like we'll talk about it next week for she hulk but it's like you do it in the first four episodes the ones that you show early to all of your media people and then uh, you stop doing that afterwards and it's just very confusing to me but regardless um with this uh, i i liked it being in black and white it sort of felt like this old timey horror movie the only negative thing that i really have to say about this is the design for the werewolf it was just i don't know it just needed a bit more i don't know if it was i'm sure it was a mix of cgi and actual costume but at times it just looked like a guy going around in a costume versus i don't really know if we're there anymore <laughs> in the mcu or if we've ever been quite there i don't know uh but regardless some of like the reveals i guess of like where is he now like jumping out of the cage and then jumping from the ceiling because there there is all the heads hanging there i thought was really cool uh, i really enjoyed that aspect of it also the guards and everything reminded me of the tva um just their whole shtick and and whole armor and everything that they were wearing but uh yeah uh, elsa was pretty cool too she had uh, probably the most actiony 
you know, fight sequences, which was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed her interaction with (laughs) Man-Thing when uh, it was, like, really angry and about to attack her. And then she said his name and you could see the shift in his eyes. I thought that was (laughs) really great and how expressive he was and uh, also just the whole uh his powers and everything what uh you know those effects were really great too but i enjoyed man thing a lot i every scene he was in sort of stole it but uh i i really want more uh, of these characters i'm sort of sad that this isn't a tv show honestly like i enjoyed this hour more than i've enjoyed all of she hulk and i just wish that this could have been like an ongoing series of like maybe him finding out that his friend was taken and then how does he sneak into this gathering and i don't know i just feel like i could see this being more episodic than they've done well with with other shows and things like that so far with the the disney plus stuff but yeah i, I really i think there was definitely moments where like he gets captured like or maybe he's just about to transform and that's the end of the episode like I saw all these little breaks and I'm like this would be really really great um also I'm surprised they could have aired this on like ABC like just to I don't know just like a TV movie because of all those like I said there was specific moments where I'm like I could see like there being commercials here like it felt like that sort of a TV movie, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but I, yeah, I just would have loved a show for this or just more. I feel like it was so short and I hopefully next year, you know, pick up with them. I I'd love that. That'd be great. Maybe they go rescue some more monsters. I don't know together. That'd be really fun. Also, lastly, before we jump into Lego talk, I just want to say that Michael Giacchino, who is known for doing amazing work on other films for music and their scores and original soundtracks, did a fantastic job directing here for the first time, as well as the score and music for this too was really, really fantastic. Lego set wise, there's no way they're going to do a set on this. It was very, very graphic. Also, we haven't seen anything. Could they be in the Disney Plus series too, if there is one? Maybe, but I feel like I'd rather have the show characters, despite me not necessarily enjoying them as much as this. Um, I still would much rather have a She-Hulk figure, I think, than the werewolf figure which again if he looked better maybe i would but of course i want man thing Uh, a big fig would be great but i don't know where they would do that they don't really do comic book sets which disappoints me like it would be so great if they just threw him in a spider-man set i don't know why or how that would work but just throw him in there i feel like all the fans from this would be loving to get a, a man thing figure i think that would be so fun to get but i don't know Uh, i'd love to hear your thoughts though on this little special what did you think of it are you excited for the guardians one what would you like to see them do next and uh you want to see these characters again i i know i do but i'd love to hear your thoughts on all that hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one